hey everyone welcome back to engineers tech up channel so in this video we will discuss why we use the main method so last video we have discussed right so what is system dot or dot print ln then when you are writing uh, this uh, system dot or dot print ln as a class block we are getting some compile time error right so we if you are writing any logic you have to write inside this sub block so after that what do you have to do you have to compile your code then it will create a dot java dot class file so dot class file is nothing but this is your byte code and machine code so last session what we have discussed till now now guys you have to interact with jvm java virtual machine got it right so when i will compile this code able to compile this when i will try to execute this code okay you know we are getting some compile time error right so i'll do one thing i'm getting some error here so i will create a some phrase file okay so i'll create a one phrase file for this we were we have done some error here right so let me uh, create another file i'm just writing uh amazon only okay a -M -A. okay so now i will save this file okay so i will replace this file okay with current file so last time when you will try to write system dot or dot print ln outside this block outside this uh, block then we are getting some compile time error understood right so when you will write this outside this class block so this is called class block okay I'm just removing this as of now so just we have created one sub block system void dot m1 and when you will write this inside this sub block right so we were getting we are not getting any compile time error so now we are able to compile successfully but we'll try to run this code you can see the jbm is asking where is your main method okay the jbm is asking where is your main method we are not able to execute your code without main method okay so you can see main method first of all just i will give you the overview of this why method is required if you know why method is required then we will also understand why main method is required uh, when you are trying to run the code it will interact with jbm but what happened you did not define this main method then jvm developer has given the one message to the users main method not found in your class amazon please define the main method okay so now here we will understand why method is required okay understood right so first of all you have to understand some uh, basic topic what is method okay understood right so I will give you one example guys okay understand this example oh I am not able to edit okay no problem so suppose you have a test case like you have a 50 test case okay you have a 50 test case okay so people who doesn't know what is the test case and also just you can watch the manual steps so just I'm um, test case means just we are validating the some you know ui part step by steps so suppose in one test case test case one just i am writing tc1 tc01 okay in this test case you have to validate you have to log in the application right then you have to uh, validate the title of the page okay and we have the close so close okay close the application this is the three steps understood right so these three steps are common for all the 50 test cases understood right so these steps are common to all the 50 test uh, test cases right so when you will write another test case right when you will write you are writing another test case 
So suppose this is the test case two. And, oh, we are not able to copy this. Once again, okay, I'm able to copy. So now, uh, okay, better I can have, I will type this. This is, okay, I'll, I'll type it now so. Understood, right? So suppose in your test case two, just I'm writing test TC02. Okay, so in TC02, again, you have to write this three line of the code, right? Suppose this is the test case for validate the uh, error message. Okay, validate error message. So what happened? What is the problem for this? This is the repeated steps, right? So in real time, we develop the method in Java we call method okay so what is the use of method you know what we can do we can create a one block okay so i will write one block like just i'm writing uh login app like like this okay so inside this all these three steps we will write okay so here what we we can write we can write here we can write uh, the code for uh, I can say this three steps code. Okay, so I have written this three step code Understood right so I have written this all this three steps code Okay, then What we can do what we can do if you are creating the test case second test case right or any other test case you are creating so simply what I can do here simply you have to not write this line of the code again and again. Suppose I'm just developing the test case three and here I have to validate valid username and password. So simply what we can do, we can call this method. Okay, we can call this method login app. Okay, we can call this method inside this block. Understood, right? So in the real time, if you have any repeated steps, right? So we can create a functionality and we can reuse in our script, not only for testing in development also, right? So we can create a, some common functionality. So again, I'm just going to relate this Amazon or this, this topic with our main method, right? So any users, so what happened, what happening here? So here, what is happening here? So here we have a users. So uh, this is your, uh, I can say, one second guys, mm, where is this? Okay, I'm not able to find this spotlight. I'm just trying to, okay. It is mm. okay, 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 it's there only. Okay, so suppose this is your we are the developer and this is your JVM. Okay, this is your we are the users and this is your JVM software. Understood, right? So, what happened? JVM is a software Java virtual machine is a software right so we don't know we don't know you know JVM doesn't know what you are writing what you know we having the many things here so we have a user defined method we have a variable and many things are there so what happened JVM developer JVM developer has developed one common method that is called main method okay so in this scenario, what happened if any users, if any users will try to, if any users will try to execute the code, then what happened when any users will execute the code, it should must be interact with the main method. So main method is the interface between user and JVM understood, right? So the JVM, the JVM developer has here, the JVM developer has developed the logic for main method. So this is the inbuilt method. So what happened? So when you are trying to execute your code, so in your code, it will search in your class, where is your main method? 
you can see in this class main method is not there it will search till now the object class we will discuss what is the object class and all in the coming session understood right so what happened it will throw it will give the message to the users you know please define the main method hope you are getting why we required the main method so main method is the interface between the jbm and users or developer you can say the developer okay so why main method is required because main method doesn't know what you are writing the code right so jbm developer had developed some common logic if any users will execute the code then it will called jbm will called jbm will search main method is defined or not understood right and one more thing main method is called automatically you should not call if you are defining any method understood right so what happened you have to call that method explicitly so next topic i will explore the method topic so just i have given the what is method and what is main method okay so now just i'm going to erase this all the things and we will discuss so now what i'm trying to do here i will define here main method so let me create one class here i'll copy this okay so this is why we required main method understood right so now i see this is i just define the main method okay so you have to ask the question what is public what is a static what is void and main okay so this is the complete syntax of the method guys so public is called accessibility modifier in java we have a four types of the accessibility modifier public private protected and default public private protected so we have a three keywords so why we use the public because this is the public anyone can access this a static so a static is another topic of the java why a static so we have a two types of the member in the java a static and non-static member so a static when you are writing the statics you should not create an object but we will explore in the coming session means as of now understand a static member we should not create an object jbm will provide to memory for a static member so this is called a return type so again we have a two types of the return type void type or non void type so here we have a void type okay so again this all the things we will learn in the depth in your meta topic so now just i'm going to focus on your main method and this is called method name this is called command line argument so this is a string a string type and this is your a string type of an array and this is your args is your i can say this is your variable name so this is called inside this main okay inside main okay just i'm giving the message now in this scenario what will happen i'm just writing m1 okay so just okay so in this scenario what will happen so if you will compile this code now what the output will come when compile compile successfully when you will execute this code you can see inside main okay so inside this main so you can see m1 block is not executed i told you right when you will execute your code jbm will search main method so how to how to print m1 so this is your a static method so coming session we will discuss if you are beginner and definitely do you have a, some confusion of this what is a static void m1 right so don't worry in the coming session we will understand in the depth why a static what is the void keyword what is m1 and all so now just as of now understand why main method so now what i i want to print m1 as well so this is your static method i can call this a static method directly or by using the class name or you can call directly or by using the class name or you can call by the object also but uh, when we have a static either you can use uh, you can call directly or we can use class name we can use the class name while the calling this all the things we will discuss in the coming session when we have a topic for a static and non static okay so now if i will compile this code you can see now able to compile and now able to run so once again when i will press control 2 you can see 
now how this output will come okay so now we will understand how this output will come and we will summarize this topic and we will close this topic and next topic we will understand what is method types of the method static non-static method parameterized method non-parameterized method so many types of the methods are there we will discuss in the coming session so now in this session so what happened so you have created dot java file okay so dot java file is created understood right you compile successfully then dot class file will be generated right then when you will run this code then jbm will search in this class where is your main method then control will go inside this main understood right so inside this main what happened this block will execute right we are printing main method now and method will execute top to bottom okay so control will go inside this main then it will execute from top to bottom then m1 then it will go inside this then this block is executed understood right so this is how the java code will work any java program right we have a big application also the same concept we have right first of all it will compile the code successfully then interact with jbm then after that we will get the output okay so let me uh, close this okay guys so in this session that's it so let me erase this okay so hope it is a clear still you have a doubt you can comment below i will reply back to you okay so now thank you so much guys for uh, watching this video so planning to upload many video in the coming session please subscribe my channel and press bell icon then you will get new video notification if you are a manual tester and you are searching the job then just you can go through this playlist we have a manual testing playlist then we have a real time interview question and answer i have uploaded top level of the product based company and service based company for current uh, you know in the market what type of the question they are asking so you can just go and explore the playlist and do not forget to subscribe and press bell icon thank you so much in the next video bye bye